name's TJ with Tumbleweed Manufacturing. Uh, we're the pickup headache rack people, but uh, today we're going to do a little walk around on this flatbed project we've been working on. Uh, you know, a lot of times we get accused of thinking outside the box, but uh, in this particular instance, and uh, this flatbed setup we built, we thought inside the box. There's a lot of wasted space in the flatbed pickup. back in, flip the lid down on it, nobody even knows that they're there, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, down the back here, me and the rest of the boys out in the shop all got bad knees, we built a nice little set of steps that slides in the receiver hitch, so that uh, us old guys get up on top of the truck bed a whole lot easier. Step up here, this particular setup we got. So we set that this front box up where he can haul his freon bottles, such as that. Got lots of storage, lots and lots of storage. Got your gooseneck ball here, 10,000 pound gooseneck ball. On the flip lid right there. Lays nice and flat. More added storage in the back here. There's a couple of compartments to flip up. Throw your chains and boomers, such as that. And in case, like an NASCAR, if you spin around backwards and these air flaps will kick up, slow you down, keep you from crashing into the wall. <laughs> Once again, down this side, take advantage of all that wasted space. Each one of these drawers 24 inches deep. We've got four of them down each side. Get all your tools laid out. Nobody even knows that they're in there. Slide really nice and good. This also has the, uh, the fuel attachment here, or the fuel bill is up inches higher than normal flatbeds. Many times on flatbeds it's hard to put fuel in them because the, the fuel outlet is, is so low. But we got it up higher. It's also concealed behind the, the door when you flip that down. And uh, you can see the fuel bill, but it, it takes fuel nice and easily. Unlike a lot of other flatbeds. This compartment over here has got, uh, got side access on it. Put dome lights in it. Activated. So you see your stuff when you get it out of there. And when you get all done with the day's work, what's the last thing you want to do? You fix and go to the house. Well, you got, you got to lock your pickup before you go to the house. So reach in here. Hit the lock button. This one's got a few seconds delay to make sure you get your keys out of the ignition. Hear the click, automatically locks both sides, all the compartments all down the side. You ain't got to worry about it. So uh, that's kind of a quick run around. We've got all LED lighting on everything. It's got a big 24 inch LED light bar in the back on the switch. You can flip that on, use it for work lights, loading lights, whatever. Uh, we can custom build anything you need. This is kind of our uh, prototype model here set up. But uh, if you put your imagination together, if there's something we can help you with, and be sure to give us a call. Look us up online. It's tumbleweed
www.shootingfg.com. We're located in Amarillo, Texas. We'd be happy to help you with anything you need. Thanks for watching.